Hey, hi, hello, mi hearties. Uh, I'm Falek and welcome to another episode of XCOM 2 News. Today we are going to be looking at the trailer of the remaining new enemies in the War of the Chosen. This is going to be a live first time viewing and reaction plus commentary of whatever comes to my mind. Hopefully something insightful. Uh, on the inside look on the new enemies. So, uh, let's get to it, shall we? Commander, we received intel about some new threats you'll be facing. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be the guy with the flamethrower, the guy that creates clones, and the guy that is a psionic support. I wish we had a class of psionic supports that buffs our units rather than, the, you know, debilitating enemies. Because uh, in the uh, vanilla XCOM 1 and in the long war there, uh, we had an options to uh, increase combat capab capabilities of our people as well as debilitate the enemies. And in XCOM 2 I think this is a feature that is sorely lacking. We have uh, holo targeting. Uh, in uh, some units, we have uh, some uh, additional defense added with specialists and some minor things, but we lack the uh, very interaction that we had with our own units in the first game. Like, there is no combat drugs, there is no steams, uh, anything like that, that we can use to uh, truly devote a soldier to support his own good guys, because I think that would add a lot of. Uh, creativity to the tactics we could deploy in the field, but uh, that's this mini rant aside, let's go. Sing ...on the battlefield. First up is the Purifier. Advent mainly deploys these troops into abandoned cities to destroy any trace of the lost. Which means that we will probably not see them in regular missions. Uh, or maybe we will, because established lore be damned if we get to fight enemies with flamethrowers. The only wish uh, is uh, that we would have the flamethrowers also, because we really are lacking a real uh, flamethrower in this game, because the long war ones uh, gauntlet doesn't really, does, cannot really wash fit of a real flamethrower main weapon that we could be having. It would be so freaking cool. They come equipped with a powerful flamethrower and incendiary grenade. Their weapons affect wide areas, so make sure you fan your soldiers out when engaging. And also when you kill one, I heard it's gonna maybe explode sometimes every now and again. So, this is definitely not something you want to kill with your melee units. The trooper's pack is also highly volatile, and will sometimes erupt when the purifier is killed. Close range attacks are not advised. Next up is the priest. These it's called a priest, seriously. Advent soldiers are gifted in psionics and uh, well, uh, go back. have a trip gifted in psionics. This is the uh, stylized version of the avatar and the elder logo over here. So he is maybe, in fact, worshipping priests as god. I mean, elders as gods. Or just using it as a propaganda tool. So uh, that would basically be advent version of a swastika, I guess. Ionics and have a trick we haven't seen since the original invasion. The priest has the ability to strengthen nearby units through a mind merge. I think I've seen a mod that does something like this, haven't I? What mod could that be? Hmm. I don't know. The psionic link boosts the combat capabilities of the target greatly, but makes them vulnerable. If you can take out the priest, You'll also kill the unit they're supporting. So kill outright, not just deal damage like in Long War 1. Finally, we have the Spectre. Tron much? The research lab is still figuring out if this one is organic. Oh, that's some kind of uh, very Deus Exy sort of, I mean Deus Ex 1 of course, sort of uh, a biotic kind of thingy. I was expecting him to have some sort of a gun that stands in copies, but this is nice. Organic or robotic. In Looks like Necrons in the first Dawn of War games, doesn't it? In an instant, they can transform from a humanoid figure to a black cloud that is impossible to hit. If the Spectre gets the drop on a soldier, 
It'll create a copy equipped with the same weapons and abilities. Not so the humanoid form that they're having is uh, lies. That's what it is. I, I bet that when we autopsy one of those, we'll find out uh, that it's some sort of a nanite cloud or uh, thousands of microscoping machines just uh, uh, trolling us. And uh, then, you know, Taigan's gonna be hacking bamboozled, right? Not only does this give the enemy an additional ally, and it actually makes sense from sort of uh, uh, like science-ish sort of view. It's not like magic like some other units. The attack renders our soldier unconscious. These enemies present. But when you, I bet when you kill a specter or a stand flashbang or otherwise stun the specter, then I bet our soldiers will actually come back. Straight, fine and dandy, and the copy will die, because uh, yeah, because that's basically a sectoid in a fancy suit, isn't it, uh, when you come to think about it. So, guess who's going to be shot immediately upon activation, right? Unless you eliminate everybody else, then leave the spectre alive, put a poor victim to be cloned, and unless the clone gets an immediate action at the same turn, then it's basically going to be the exact same situation as with mind control soldier of ours. Just ignore the mind control on the turn that it happens, let the enemy do it, because they basically put themselves out of commission in their own turn, just so they can be eliminated at our leisure in the next one. And this is vanilla, so we're talking about, so unless they made vast improvements to the AI, that is by the way some really, really nice uh, screenshot. So unless uh, this is uh, going to be an, a very much uh, changed and modified AI, I bet Mimic Beacon is going to be absolutely amazing against cloned troopers. So we can probably just uh, let them be for a couple of turns and take care of beefier enemies first and then deal with the Spectre. But his uh, ability to change into a cloud of nanites or whatever that is uh, we may have had some difficulties with overwatch fire, I mean, not with direct fire. But it seems that a little bit like if you would mix codex with a sector, really. Present new challenges. Wait for it. I'm going to take a screen as soon as the thingy disappears. Alright, oh, screw it. But with the right strategy, we can take on any threat. Our soldiers are equipped for the job, and we'll get it done on your order. Bradford is uh, breaking records of being absolutely amazing at his job. However, that doesn't explain why I still don't have my coffee in my hand, Bradford. Stop making trailers and get to work. What am I paying you for, you bastard? Good luck, Commander. With getting my coffee, I think I'm gonna need it. So, yeah, jokes aside, this is actually pretty nice-ish. Uh, uh, first of all, we have a unit that, uh, well, is a buffing unit, uh, definitely priority target to take on. And it looks one-shotable with uh, some high-tier weapons or with snipers, stuff like that. So that brings back uh, some deeper tactical play, so I definitely am absolutely re uh, be hyped about the Priest, because this is an addition to the game that the deepens tactical play, gives us new options to consider and definitely makes a difference on the battlefield, other than just being a pile of damage and HP on the battlefield. Now, as for the Advent uh, Pyro... Other than being absolutely fucking really cool, I really don't see the point. Because uh, uh, it doesn't really bring anything to the table, it seems. It's a unit that you don't want to kill in melee, so a mutant. But for a different reason, it's not gonna counter attack, it's gonna die but explode. And other than that, it doesn't really bring anything new to the table. It uh, delivers fire all around, so. It's uh, a new condition on the field that definitely has different ways to be treated, but uh, all in all, all together, it doesn't really change anything, really. It doesn't. 
It's gonna be treated just as any other unit. Control all kill and uh, nothing else to it, right? The Spectre, however, is a different matter because uh, it's a combination of being a codex with a sectoid. Definitely puts a nice uh, balance of what do you want to do with this guy. Do you want to snipe him ASAP? Or do you want to leave him as a, like a sector and let him take one of your troopers? Plus, of course, the, 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 the sole fact that he is cloning one of your people is meaningless because uh, I very much doubt that after you kill or stun a specter that the clone is going to be still alive. If so, then I'm going to have to withdraw my statement and say that this is uh, a game changer and... Uh, I, to be honest, very much hope so that the clones will have their own life uh, even after the mother organism dies, at least for a couple of turns until they expire for whatever reason, because that will definitely change the game, because then you will have to uh, make sure that this doesn't happen, because it's just <laughs> another enemy otherwise. However, if uh, the clones you create die when you kill the mother alien, then... Uh, that's basically a sectoid in a fancy suit, like a BDSM toid. That's what I'm going to call those guys from now on, BDSM toids. And uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to look for my jumper cables and nipple clamps and uh, bid you guys farewell. So, I hope you like this video, let me know what you guys think about the new aliens. I'm looking forward to hear uh, what have I missed, because I always miss something. And. Uh, what do you guys uh, think we are going to have to do against them in the field and what is going to be the uh, biggest priority target for you guys so with that being said uh, i'm gonna say uh, buckle up buckaroos you can like the videos if you wanna uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and feel like it check out other videos because uh, i think they're pretty nice of course i made them so who am i to judge and uh, you can even support me on Patreon and buy me a beer, which I will appreciate very, very much because I like beer and I cannot lie. And with that being said, once more for the third time, bye-bye.